to the August 26, 2003 meeting of the Cape Elizabeth Zoning Board. Uh, this evening, I, we almost have a full house. Uh, Gib Mendelson said that he would not be present tonight, but if I may, I'd like each board member to introduce themselves and state their address of residence, starting on the left, please. My name is Steve LaPlante. I reside at 1176 Sawyer Road. My name is Jim Walsh, and I reside at 23 Rockcrest Drive. I'm Jack Keneally. I reside at 16 High View Road. I'm Jay Chapman, 19 Pilot Point Road. Mike Trenfalli at 6 Evergreen Circle. I'm Joe Coyometti at 12 Old Fort Road. Thank you. First item on the agenda is the approval of the June 24th minutes. I have two very minor comments. Uh, on page 2, line 13, a variance request one year prior. The actual date of the reference variance comparable variance request was August of 2001. So that would be uh, two years prior. So if we could change one year to two years. And on page six, line 23, uh, he also understood that, uh, delete the word the. Any other comments? Okay, I request a motion to approve the minutes of the June 24th meeting. I approve. Seconded. All in favor? All opposed? One abstention. Mr. Chair, <coughs> did Gib directly get hit if you directly? Sorry? I'm sorry, I thought you were through. I was just moving on. Uh, you were not present. You were not present. No, I was here. Yes. Yes. Okay, Steve. I was here. Okay. Uh, and you did not vote. So that'd be two abstentions. Right. Is that correct? Okay. Um, did Gib talk to you directly about not coming to the meeting? He mentioned last week oh, okay. that he would not be present. Last week or last month? Uh, possibly it was uh, middle to the end of last week. He said he was planning to be out of town. It would be much appreciated if we could direct that through the code office because that's when we, if I don't know that, you know, okay. I wouldn't be able to, can, you know, cancel or try to scurry to get enough members together, so. I'll mention that to him. Thank you. <clears throat> Any old business? New business? have one item on the agenda. The first item and only item is here the request of Mary Robbins Guthrie of 1174 Sawyer Road, tax map U46, lot 11, for a left side property variance of, I believe it's four feet from the required 25 feet to construct the 12 by 30 single story addition at 21 feet from the left side property line. Mr. Chair, uh, Mayor Robin Guthrie and I are abutters, are abutting neighbors. We uh, share a property line. Therefore, I do not believe it would be appropriate for me to sit as we discuss this. Okay, thank you. Any comments from other board members regarding that? You're excused then. Thank you. You uh, said four feet. It says, yeah, it 14. says 14 on there. Would, She's looking for 14 feet. Right. The, the variance should be yeah. a variance of four feet. Um, so that's what it should be? Okay. The reason why we advertised the 11 is because um, on the application proposed side was 11 feet and I couldn't get a hold of the applicant to verify. So I advertised and we certainly can certainly make it the variance less than the advertisement. Couldn't make it more. Um, but I just I wanted to play it safe because um, that measurement wasn't actually given on the application. So, um, it says 14 feet here, and Jay said four feet. So that's what we're trying to clear up. That's what I was just. That's what Bruce was just explaining the clarification of that. Right. So in terms of the, the application, 
proposed structure on the application was to be at 11 feet. So I advertised a variance of 14 feet because I couldn't get a hold of the applicant and I needed to get it in the paper. It has changed since then. It hasn't changed. It, the plan is still to be built at um, 21 feet, 21 and a half feet from the property line. So that's where the four feet come from, actually. It's rounded. Yeah. And Bruce, in the advertisement, it's okay to, it can be less, not it's more, correct. if it were that's to be correct. more, then it would have to be re-advertised? That would be, that would be correct, yes. Okay. I made that correction based on the, on the, the, the plans submitted and with discussion of uh, uh, Mr. Smith. The, the left side property line is indeed 11 feet from the sideline, but there will be no alterations apparently from the left side property line. Ms. Guthrie, would you please come to the podium and introduce yourself, please, and describe your appeal? My name is Mary Robin Guthrie. And uh, first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity <clears throat> to present my case. My builder has made copies of all the information you may need. If you all have a copy of our proposal, uh, I'm here to ask for a four-foot variance in the property line from 21 to 25, from 25 to 21 feet. Due to the minute size of the original structure, the stairs leading to the basement are dangerously narrow and steep, and the floor is constantly wet and moldy. I've installed a pump, but it can't handle the amount of moisture that accumulates. The construction of the new room will allow for dry storage, storage space and a dry location for my washer and dryer, which will be a big help. My builder has had plans drawn up and been contracted to complete the structure with your approval, which will enlarge the first floor in the back of the existing structure. Due to the location of the garage, which has been grandfathered, the addition will not be visible from the street and only slightly visible from either side. Bruce Smith has said he will okay the project if I do get the variance. Thanks again for the opportunity to speak to you, and I'm ready for your questions if you have any. If, if, if I may explain my, uh, the original discussion at the beginning, and please verify that this is correct, Ms. Guthrie. Your left side property line of your existing dwelling is 11 feet from the left property line. From the garage. That's correct. And there is that, the width of that on the rear of your property is 10 and a half feet. Your addition will start from the inside of that garage. Therefore, the, the addition starts at 20 and a half feet. Exactly. From the, the uh, 21 and a half feet from the left property yeah, line. Right. You are making no additions to the garage. Is that no. our alterations to the garage? That's correct. You're starting on the inside rear wall of the garage exactly. and building inward. Thank you. That should explain the, the uh, discrepancy between the application and my opening statement. Uh, any comments, questions from the board? I had one, one point of, of clarification. Um, according to the drawing, the addition is going to go in the back of the home. I beg your pardon? The addition is going to go in the back of the home. Yes. And it, it is going to, I mean, it's got tons of room out there, but it's going to protrude a little bit farther out than the existing foundation? Right. Okay. About four feet. So the application, at the technical minor point, but the, the setback from the property line on the proposed structure is going to be one or two feet less than 400 instead of the existing 400. I'm sorry, I don't understand that question. Um, 400 feet. Yes, that's where the existing structure... The, the, the current um, setbacks for your property are 48 feet on the front and 11 feet on the sides and 400 on the rear. Oh, yes, right. I understand. I, I had actually had a good... I had trouble 
because your, uh, your maps are very good, but actually the front of the house is the top of the page. Okay, and gotcha. I just had a... Yes, exactly. Uh, <clears throat> point of clarification. Um, and the all might be able to answer this. That foundation, wouldn't you go out beyond that corner by six inches to get it to 21 anyways? Yes. So we're talking 21 yeah, feet. 21 feet. It doesn't change that uh, step back. But your foundation will actually go inside. Pro protrude, protrude into the 10 out? and a half. Not, not, otherwise you'd have a corner that's one foundation would not run in rate wouldn't no, to, to a point. So you'll bring that out to six right inches. The so the left rear extent of the addition will be 21 feet. 21 feet from the property line. Yes, sir. Are there alterations to your septic system plan? Yes. And I will describe those, refer to my builder, Mr. Richmond, to explain that, if Be I may. Fine. You please introduce yourself and state your address. Uh, Norm Richmond. I own Cape Builders. I live at 13 Spoon Drift Lane, Broad Cove, Cape Elizabeth. Uh, <clears throat> we had Al Frick do a soil test and draw up a new schematic of where the uh, septic system will be changed to. It was a, uh, approved. I paid the fee for it, $50 if I recall. And that's all been approved by the uh, Building Code Enforcement Officer, Bruce uh, Smith. <clears throat> We're moving the septic tank out in a straight line back to the appropriate footage and just drawing that line, that four inch line that comes out of the basement <coughs> a little further out. Uh, Mrs. Guthrie has a pump. So we'll <laughs> extend the electrical uh, conduit to the new location of the pump and just bring the piping back. And I've engaged uh, both uh, Ed McElhaney and George Livy, who understand all this excavation and so forth, uh, to do that work. And will the height of the addition be comparable or less than the existing? Well, if you look at this plan, <laughs> the new roof pitch is a 612 pitch. The existing <laughs> gambrel is way up in here. It's approximately six feet higher than the proposed addition. Uh, this roof line here coming off to the garage will be lower than the garage. Oh, the same. Oh, the, the, same, yeah, the same height as the garage, excuse me, and much lower than the existing structure. Any other questions? you have a basement in your existing? Yes. Okay. Will, will that be extended at all? No, this will be cross space. It will not? Yes. I hope not. It's wet. The setback of the comparable property owners, where did you get that information from, please? We had a survey in here somewhere. 
I'm talking about the adjacent property owners, the comparable property. Oh, uh, these properties uh, were people I went to myself personally and got their signatures okaying the uh, new addition. And I believe their names are here in the back. And I believe that uh, Bruce Smith advised me to uh, there's an outline of this right in the back showing that each one of these properties that uh, were pictured here uh, less than what the building code desires for the setbacks. It's on this page. Right before the Just plans. before the plan. And this will state that some of these properties have, uh, well, for example, uh, <clears throat> 1185 Sawyer Road, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Lee have a 12.8 setback on the uh, side, well, on the left hand side back, uh, side, set, side setback, excuse me. And um, one here has 20 feet rather than 25, that's for Coldfield Road. Uh, one on uh, Jeff uh, Chase on uh, Silver Drive has 13 for 11 inches on the right hand side, 24 8 setback from the right of way instead of the usual 40. In fact, most of these are closer to the street. And so, so I need to kind of just put marks on here as the ones that uh, were in fact comparable uh, setbacks to ours, just for references in that same neighborhood. Any other questions? Thank you. <clears throat> Open the floor to public comment. Are there anybody present who would like to speak in favor or in opposition? My name is Steve LaPlante uh, from 1176 Sawyer Road, direct abutter to Mary Robin Guthrie. And uh, she has shared with us the plans of the uh, proposed project. And uh, as direct abutters, we don't, uh, we don't feel that we'd be ad adversely impacted by the project moving forward from, uh, from the description described. Uh, there wouldn't be, it'd be a very, you wouldn't see it much from Definitely not from the from the road, but certainly very little from the sides. So uh, the, the the adverse impact to the neighborhood is, is non-existent. There would be no adverse impact. And uh, I think the reasons that she is asking for the variance and, and wishing to proceed with the project are, are very solid ones. That she's unable to use her basement now, and as and I know that from a convenience standpoint, that she has to do her laundry currently in the basement and. Um, Due to severe allergies and mold spores and so forth, she she encounters difficulty there. So she would like to bring her laundry room up, um, and also get some storage upstairs. So I mean, as as um, it, it's a good improvement to the home, increasing its value, it, it helps the neighborhood in that sense as well. Um, there's no compelling reason that um, that it, it should be not approved, in my opinion. Any question? <clears throat> Thank you. Seeing no one else in the audience, I'll close the public forum portion of this and open the, the variance to discussion by the board. Any comments? I think it's a, it's a very nice application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, um, I drove by and I, I agree with the comments that have been made. I don't see any um, impact that would be anything other than beneficial in the neighborhood. And it is a very tight lot. I sympathize with anyone who has a lot that tight. I think the plans are well put together. Any other comment? Uh, I drove by as well and I, and I agree that uh, certainly it's in context with the neighborhood and it would be an enhancement of, of property 
and also uh, it would uh, definitely be you know, fit within the, the nature of the homes in that area. I, I have uh, turned my bike by this place rather than uh, driving by it, and I too agree that it uh, it won't be seen very very much from the road. And um, I like to comment that I think it's a very complete application, and uh, a lot of time went into it, and I appreciate that as a member of the board. The it's apparent that the addition will be contained within the existing walls of the, of the structure, completely on the roof. The rear of the dwelling being U-shaped and the uh, addition being within the boundaries of the inside walls of the rear U-shaped footprint of the house. Uh, apparently it's a low profile and appears that it will not be at all visible from the street. Uh, uh, application seems complete. Any other comments? I'll close the discussion. We will now vote on the following standards. Uh, the appellant is the owner of property at 1174 Sawyer Road. Property is located in residential A district, dates 38,000 square feet of land with 80 feet of street frontage. Uh, the first element that we'll vote on, number one, the proposed variance is not a substantial departure from the intent of the ordinance. All in favor? All opposed? All in favor, zero opposed. Number two, a literal enforcement of the ordinance would cause a practical difficulty. All in favor? All in favor, zero opposed. Number three, the need for the variance is due to the unique circumstances of the property and not the general condition of the neighborhood. All in favor? Zero opposed. Number four, the granting of the variance will not produce an undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood and will not unnecessarily detrimentally affect the use or market value of budding properties. All in favor? Zero opposed. Number five, the practical dip difficulty is not the result of action taken by the applicant or prior owner. All in favor? Zero opposed. Number six, no other feasible alternative to the variance is available to the practitioner. Petitioner, all in favor? Zero opposed. Number seven, the granting of a variance will not unreasonably adversely affect the natural environment. All in favor? Zero opposed. Number eight, the property is not located in whole or in part within the shoreland areas described in Title 38, Section 435. Those in favor? All opposed. <coughs> All eight elements were approved. May I have a motion, please? Um, I, I move that, uh, that we grant variance requested by Mayor Robin Guthrie. Do I have to read the specifics up above? Please. Um, granting the uh, variance um, applied by Mayor Robin Guthrie from the strict application of the zoning ordinance requirement of section 19.6-1. Um, he requests a left side property variance of 14 Four. feet. Four feet. Four feet from the required 25 feet to construct a 12 by 30 single story addition at 11 feet from the side property line. And that would be 21 feet. 21. The motion has been made. All in favor? Looks like a second. Thank you. Those in favor? Zero opposed. Variance has been approved. <clears throat> now 
Next item on the agenda is communications. And there are none. Uh, the next meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeal is September the 23rd. Any other notes by the board members? Uh, I have a question for Bruce. Just, uh, two or three months ago, in conjunction with a conditional use application, you talked about a change being made by the, either the town council or the planning board. Has that change been made yet? Or? Uh, those are in, at workshop. That's what? Those are at workshop with the council. They're in workshop, okay. Will any proposed changes be passed by this board or? Excuse me? And if they do propose changes, will, will they be discussed with uh, I, you and or the board or is uh, that not? What happened with these is, is, is I brought these, these changes or these sections to the board and the board recommended elimination of, of uh, several of the sections. Uh, and that's recommendation that's gone forth to the to the uh, the uh, ordinance committee. So your input has been appreciated, and we'll let you There'll know. There'll be no further need to. There won't be. They won't be. They won't ask you again. Okay. <laughs> Good. Unless you want, I can. I could arrange that. Thank you. Any other members have comment? I request a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.